සුබ රාත්‍රී කාලයක් වේවා මගේ නම සමන්ත හේවගි මම මේ මේ මගේ පස්වෙනි ටීම් මීව සෙෂන් එක මේ CCNA ඉගෙන ගන්න සහ නෙට්වර්කින් ඉගෙන ගන්න ළමයින්ට මම පිටු වහලක් වෙයි කියලා හිතලා මේ ටීම් මීව සෙෂන්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ ඇත්තටම ට්‍රේනින් වීඩියෝස් වගේ කරනවා ඉංග්‍රීසියෙන් ඇත්තටම අද ඉඳන් ඉංග්‍රීසි ඇන් සිංහල මාධ්‍ය දෙකෙන්ම මම කරන්න අදහස් කරනවා ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ කියන්නේ මම උගන්වද්දි ඇයි විල් ස්පීක් ටු ඉංග්‍රීසි ඇස් වෙල් ඇස් ද සිංහල ඇස් වෙල් right so then anyone can understand right so not only sinhala and uh, earlier i have you know only uh, you know uh, talk about talk uh, use i only use the language sinhala but now uh, today onwards i use uh, english as well right and plus actually the, this uh, these team ever sessions are very useful to you right if you are watching uh, you will get a knowledge definitely uh, i am 100% guarantee you you will learn something about it if you are a student right if you are a student if you are learning networking it uh, networking uh, so you will learn something about this sessions i just this is uh, this video session all uh, for you right so you you can you can watch it and you can learn something right so this is uh, we started this video team ever video uh, training session from the very beginning right so actually now 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 also it's 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 very you know starting level because we still finish uh, four sessions this is the five sec- um, uh, fifth uh, team ever sessions right A session so definitely i will put the, i will after, i'll i'll uh, normally i'll record in all the sessions right and i'll uh upload into my youtube channel as well so if does anyone want to look at it they can access it and see it right so that is uh, that is that is what i want to tell you very first time right uh, today actually recently uh, you know uh, these uh, these days are new year days right so normally our, you know students might be busy and you know anyway so there are some students joining with me right so uh, they so in uh, through team your sessions as well right so i'll start on this session right so you will uh, yeah we'll start i think uh, my student name is currently is uh, chantika right yeah she will be uh, studying networking courses right okay right okay chantika uh, yeah we just uh, will uh, you know i'll just explain to you uh, the what do you mean by the protocol right the what does the protocol can uh, you know wh- what does the protocol mean right yeah the protocol means right the protocol means you uh, i i have discussed this also i just give the brief so this is for you know uh, rules guideline right rules guidelines and policies right policies on how right on how the data right or data or information right info can be right can be transfer transfer between two nodes api kiyana ai gala between two nodes kiyala right nodes deka kiyala right between two nodes okay <laughs> right between two nodes right uh so this is uh, rules and guidelines and policy on how data and information can be transferred between nodes so in other words protocol define the way of transferring data for example how, how would be the flow control should be there right how would be the flow control should be there flow control what kind of error control mechanism you are using right error control right so the way of transferring what kind of encryptions right encryptions you are using are you using data compression anything 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 related to you know transferring or you know communicate from one location to another so it should be defined right so 
that is what you mean by the protocol networking protocol actually these networking protocols are defined by uh, normally in the industry we are saying that i triple right i triple organization what do you mean by i triple organization i triple organization would be right uh, international right uh, international international engineers and electrical right institute right so this is this institute right uh, no, this has been uh, when you talk about the history of this I three L E standard. The I three L E, you know, uh, be, uh, you know, build up from you know volunteers, right? Volunteers, the professors earlier, the you know some professors from the you know different countries. They have joined together and they start this professional body I three L E. Then they will they 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 have developed some protocols, right? And protocols that protocol you know can be used to any any particular products. Got it? Any particular product. I mean, you know, you know, there are many vendors such as you know, we, uh, uh, we call Cisco, we call Juniper, we call Huawei, three coms. There are some you know, uh, uh, different vendors who pro who you know produce some networking devices such as routers, switches, uh, firewall whatever the devices right so so to you know to to make a uniformity right to make a uniformity everybody so i triple standard protocols can be used to any vendor irrespective irrespective of the you know vendor i mean you can use either you can use that protocols to either juniper product in either in uh, cisco product anything like that right in other words this is not the you know vendor dependent protocols right earlier it was vendor dependent protocols was there so after that that's why they this actually this build up this build up because of earlier uh, they the we say earlier uh, 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 whatever the vendors la, right? Whatever the vendors, they 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 develop their own protocols, right? So those protocols can be work in that particular vendor only. That's that is the issue. So if you when you go to integrate it, there will be a problem, right? The, so they they face some difficulties. They can't integrate, for example, Juniper product to Cisco product, right? So that kind of a uh, thing so that's why they come they came across this i triple e standard right i think uh uh chayanti uh, i think you can understand right what i have talked so far yeah chantika yeah great yeah so uh, so i just wanted to give a protocol what do you mean by the protocol the protocol is uh, so that's how the protocol came uh, uh, yeah basically chant chantika uh, when you say that when we are learning networking 90 percent of the networks networking we, we we have to learn protocols because if you need proto uh, if you know the protocols only you can use that particular protocol in that particular product for example you can use juniper product you can use cisco product whatever the product or whatever the vendor's product you need to configure it no so when you need to configure it you need to use protocols right so if you know how those protocols are working inside those devices right that then only you are aware of the how that protocols behave right so that would be the main main point right okay okay right okay so i think uh, we know that uh, we have uh, we have osi layer model then we have tcp ip OSI model is open system interconnection model that is you know uh, uh, that is kind of a framework we have seven layers I think we don't want to talk about much on those details right actually those details I have talked about with my previous sessions right okay OSI layer basically it's a kind of a framework and it's it can be dual so using this kind of a framework 
any network issue you can you know cata you can break those uh, you can break that particular network issue into these layers right so OSI layer very good starting point to learn what learn networking so that is the very good that's why the every every networking course so this is this will be the first chapter right OSI layer every teacher every, every lecturer they teach OSI layer okay right for example this is application layer layer 1 sorry layer 7 application layer layer 6 uh, presentation layer right uh, layer 5 right session layer layer 4 transport layer layer 3 network layer layer 2 uh, data link layer layer 1 physical layer right so normally for the engineers for the networking guys right the networking a beginner flock of uh, networking folk right networking flock so most of most of the uh, layers the down layers he should be aware for example transport layer network layer data link layer and the physical layer so those are the four layers right you should know even the, any network engineer right network related any person who is you know working in the network industry they should have some sort of idea and uh, they are basically working on these layers either transport layer either network layer either data link layer either physical layer right but these things are important we should know right so we can't you know eliminate these things so these also very important layers application layer presentation layer session layer but it's not not necessarily right for a, as a network engineer right network engineer should know very well on these layers right i mean down layers <laughs> okay so anyway so there are some you know uh, there are some drawbacks or some because of some you know things so uh, the osi layer now it 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 now it it's there it's just a reference model right it's just a reference model okay but when you talk about the tcp ip right so tcp ip introduced then right when when this tcp ip introduced right so nowadays the right tcp ip is the uh, main uh, uh, i mean uh, the model where any network engineer can use yeah okay Right. See here, we are saying that TCP/IP is the complete suite of protocol and services which enable communication to take place over network. Right. So earlier competitors to TCP/IP, IP, IPX and XPS. What are those things? This IPX and XPS. Right. Any idea? IPX means right. IPS means Internet Network Packet Exchange. Right. Actually, now these protocols are not no more use. Right. We are not using these things, right? This is internet work, right? Internet work, packet exchange, right? Right. So, so this is IPS, XPS, right? So these are see they they say that they have all. But dead, but dead out due to their lack of adoption and ongoing development. But nowadays, actually, we don't need to learn these things. Now, so this is no more use, right? Okay, so we go with this then. Then TCP/IP is a freely available and free to use set of standard maintained by the what is this Internet Engineering Task Force, right? Right, Internet Engineering Task Force right tcp ip actually developed by them right this these guys right internet engineering task force so they are the creators of what tcp ip transmission control protocol internet protocol right okay so 
and used to end to end right end to end device delivery device connectivity it has been developed and improved upon through the suspicion of, submission of rfc so re, this is for request request for comments right rfc request for comments so this is very important this is kind of a documentary level important documents where every i triple e standard protocols right ha has been documented under rfc right so there will be a specific number rfc 10 uh, 60 10 20 something like right so request for comments so this is right well documentary where all the i triple e standard protocols concept are documented anybody can access this is actually all you can access from uh, access these rfc from online right you can take it right so that doesn't matter that doesn't matter right so rfc request for comment would be that these uh, rfc uh, made by who whom by whom i triple e i triple e people right i triple e guys right who who are the i triple e guys so th these are the you know very specialized knowledge right they these people have very specialized knowledge in i mean networking right so they are the people who develop who create these protocols see so uh, for as a student right what what we do we are just learning what they have created right we are just learning reading read and learn and testing read learning testing what they have created right so you just imagine so how which uh, so the, the 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 what kind of what extent that that, that people have knowledge about the IT, uh, you know networking so they are the people who create the uh, the protocol so we are we are just learning the protocols right we just want to know how how those protocols are working in in our networking devices right so you see so this is the concept right you have to understand right great uh, then uh, okay so that is about rfc right uh, request for comments right so uh, i think chandrika also joining yeah chandrika yeah so yeah good evening chandrika so we just started Uh, you know uh, about this uh, you know uh, tcp ip concept and the you know the some sort of uh, networking protocols right so uh, right okay uh, right see see they have given one example what network address translation discussed in rfc 2663 ah that's why i said so this so net net so net is the protocol right network address translation i think most of the guys know this protocol network address translation right right actually this net net came across because of what because of ipv4 you know address uh, address you know uh, address we say that uh, lack of ipv4 addresses so they introduce this protocol net network address translations right so this is the very biggest and very you know useful protocol uh, this net because that's why because of net we still use ipv4 right now anyway 1996 the ipv6 has been introduced right that doesn't matter but, but Uh, why ipv6 introduced so they thought that okay we we are running out of ip addresses so nobody can you know nobody can so we we cannot allocate we cannot assign the you know address ip addresses uh, ip addresses to the devices what what we are building right what we are creating right on the go so because of that Uh, they we they they just you know think about they they just thought okay what what would be the solution for this so they came across and they introduced the protocol called NAT so you see NAT what they did was they you know hide the internal LAN protocols right internal IP addresses to the outside world or else to the other uh, other network or to the WAN right so 
for example normally using net right using net for for using one uh, using one public ip right through one public ip you can connect 60 uh, 60000 local ips right see 60000 local ip can be you know hide using a big right through one ip one public ip right so this is the reason right this is the reason this uh, uh this is the reason this uh, uh this is the reason uh, they have introduced this uh, net in other words local 60000 of local right right net topic you know we can say 60k right 60 60k of uh, local ip can be can be hide through one public ip right so this is the very powerful networking protocol nowadays that's why we still use ipv uh, for addresses right because of this net concept right got it right right okay uh, okay we'll move on i think uh, now some yeah i think uh, kavish ko also uh, join in join yeah hi kavish good evening right good evening to you right we we just started the session right okay right okay uh chayantika i think if you can you know if you can just change your participant one name with your chayantika name then uh, then then uh, uh, it's it's prefer right you just right click on the participant one just give your name then it will be appear as your name then it's uh, you know easier to refer right okay i think he will do it okay i'll just clear this screen okay we'll go ahead we'll go on right next one the tcp ip offer many services but may, many are outside the scope of ccna xm yeah see tcp ip is a, we are saying the tcp ip is a suite of protocols not only one suite of protocol we have many protocols on tcp ip right that's why it's a bundle of the protocol right it's, it it has many flavors of the protocols right so we can we can describe likewise right okay anyway so uh, they are saying that the, the uh, most a uh, lot of them are out uh, outside the ccn exam will not be covered because of uh, you know the because ccna syllabus is you know having some uh, predefined syllabus right okay so it also omit those covered on uh, other session uh, dns domain name system right uh, dscp dynamic host configuration protocols right those protocols are not discussing uh, even in the ccna syllabus at your dns and dscp are mostly discussed with microsoft environment right rather than the uh, networking environment it's basically you know dns is uh, right Uh, but dns is very big thing right so it's mostly you, uh, most of the things uh, we need to learn because it's it's debates uh, uh, right we need to know because it's very useful for our networking things right uh, next one the following section outline the basic of tcp ip right okay tcp ip okay c tcp ip the tcp ip operator tra transport layer definitely so you know tcp ip the these suites of protocols right has been uh, working when you to uh, the when you think about the layers so we can say it's it's under transport layer right it's under transport layer nothing but it's under transport layer right so it provides a connection oriented curves what do you mean by the connection oriented right connection oriented means right right so connection before it transmit from one station to another right one station to another it make a connection right it establish this is establishment of connections right right okay here we say this computer a sending okay request for request to connections for example shall we shall we have a connection like something like a request right okay request for connection right so then they the other party say okay acknowledgement for connection so he also agree that okay we can right we can have a 
connections so likewise first before transmit the data from source end to destination end the using the tcp ip they uh, the connection oriented service they build up what they build up a connection right that is called connection oriented right and because of this connection oriented it it implies that it's very reliable right so see it provides the connection oriented service for reliable transfer of data between network and device so this is a good word right reliable transfer reliable means you can you can rely on that that means you can say 100% the data will be 100% transfer to from, from uh, source to destination that is oh we can say this is guarantee really right yeah no worries no worries chandrika will will meet soon no worries yeah definitely uh, no worries guarantee delivery right right so these days we you know with festival times no right so people you know students have some you know you know some you know occasions and all yeah yeah we are aware that right it doesn't matter right yeah have a have a enjoy your party yeah okay so we'll come back to lessons I, i'm talking about the this uh, guarantee delivery right so guarantee delivery means they uh, we'll say we are we are we want to send thousand bytes here using tcp connection right definitely this thousand byte will be forwarded to or transferred to other you know or uh, other station or or, or the uh, destination end right so that is called uh, guarantee delivery right right and uh, see tcp also provides see these are the points flow control we will discuss these things flow control flow control means how the data or the data packet or the data frames right so will be flowing flowing from one one end to another end or from source end to the destination end right that is what we mean by uh, you know flowing right then sequencing sequencing means the the order in process the order for example this is source right we say this is source and this is destination right this is destination so so we have sequence numbers 1 2 3 4 we are sending a chunk of data packet from one location to another or from source end to the destination end using a chunk of data packet so when you send a chunk of data packet we are labeling 1 2 3 4 or we are giving some sequence number right that particular sequence number when it's moved to the other end or when it's moved moved to the uh, uh, destination end it also going likewise so 1 2 3 4 so sometime if this using the tcp connection tcp connection if the destination uh point will not will say assume that it will it, it will not uh, it it didn't receive uh, the chunk of the sequence number 2 uh then what what they do they again saying that okay i have received 1 3 4 but not 2 can you send 2 okay then what the source end does source send again send the data packet or sequence number 2 so that's why it make sure that the guarantee delivery right so these are the very key point in tcp ip control right tcp tcp ip protocol right so you should learn this right you should know the concept behind that flow control sequence and windowing windowing is the very useful method that is also the windowing windowing means how you copy the the way of copying the bunch bunch of data packet from one location to another the how is how that transfer happen the the what to what to what to what extent you can transfer for example 4 byte then 8 byte then 16 byte then 32 byte then 64 byte then 128 byte then 2256 byte that is kind of a power of data pack, chunk packet so normally in a window in they are transferring the 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 power of the power of data chunk packet from one location to another 
when the when it uh, because but anyway definitely the uh, destination end should be you know capable of handling that power of chunk data packet when it receive it should be take it no right so 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 this communication channel and the, the speed of the data transmission so those has to be you know equal or those has to be in a certain level where it can take those uh, data at that particular speed got it for example uh, 10 mbps 15 mbps so that kind of a speed the bandwidth should be there right so that would be so that is very important point when you do windowing so windowing concept normally in a, our uh, desktop laptop the you know operating system windows operating system this when you file when 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 we are copying file right from one location to another this windowing concept going the copying right there are some uh, concept behind that right okay and the error detection yeah that is also a good point error detection right when some errors detect right it should be you know uh, notify right so error detection mechanisms are there right so for example error detection mechanism cycling redundancy check see up you know see uh, we are saying that the crc uh, checking and check some right we have parity check even parity or parity that kind of a basic parity check methods are also there we have some advanced concept that check some right or uh, fcs right so uh, that kind of a things we have right right okay uh, right okay okay uh, Kavishka and uh, Chayantika Jamal yeah Chayantika so I think uh, you are aware of these things right I am talking about right I think you do understand what I talking about right and you are you are getting some uh, you know you are getting something out of this right am I right yeah great okay Yeah, give me a one second, right? Give me a, uh, uh, give me a one second, right? Okay, right. Uh, okay, so we uh, we just you know uh, talk about the uh, transmission TCP uh, suit, right? Uh, transmission control protocol suit or suites of protocols under TCP right uh, uh, right it attaches 32 bit header to the application layer data which uh, which is in turn encapsulated in IP header right see normally so we know that the TCP IP right protocols TCP is a protocol where it works at layer 4 layer 4 right okay so this is tcp right right the this right right so the when when this you know it attaches 32 bit header to the application layer data right application layer data which is turned encapsulation in in an IP header so IP comes after that right IP we say packet right we say packet right okay then this is we say this is what TCP uh, layer 4 actually the output would be what right this is uh, segment right right segment okay here which is turn encapsulated in IP header right so in a IP header we say this is packet IP header right 
also TCP protocol input, right? So I just want to tell this uh, encapsulated in an IP header, right? Normally IP header means this when it when it goes to the here, right? It should be have an IP header, right? So IP header. So this set so the, uh, when it, when it when it go to the you know application layer data, right? application layer data it, when it go you know up to the uh, application layer data it goes with this this is uh, tcp ip sorry tcp ip so this ip header also here in this tcp ip uh, segment the ip header also there so that is they have specified the 32 bit ip header right that is code so this ip header comes from where this from the network layer right from the network layer it goes to the transport layer right transport layer right so so this ip at the network layer essence or the important things comes to as a ip header right and it goes likewise right so that is called encapsulator encapsulations that is you know so this IP header uh, is there under TCP IP right segment anyway but the because of this encapsulation field encapsulation is what information hiding information hiding hiding right so this is the concept of uh, encapsulation it's a concept of information hiding it hide the ip layer data or network layer data under tcp ip and it goes or goes towards the application layer data right so this encapsulation every every protocol this every layers they are adding some information and you know put it to the upper layer right as a header right as a header right okay uh, now we will uh, just talk about uh, I had not uh, can you hear me okay great Yeah, uh, what do you mean by FTP? Any idea? Any idea? Yeah. Can I have some answers? Yeah, uh, it's file transfer protocol. Yeah, okay. Kaviska? Yeah. Any uh, Anything you know about the FTP? Why we use FTP? Where can we use FTP? What are the example of FTP? Talk. This is the basic protocol, right? You just chat. Yeah, share it. Yes, Kavisha. That's that's very good answer. Yeah, you can share the if I, it's I, the FTP server can be used as a file server, right? So I mean file sharing. So so between the van, we say this is we say this is our we say this is organization, right? This is organization. This has computer, right? We say this is LAN, okay? So we have switch, right? Then we have router, okay, this is outside network, right? Then we have cloud, right here, then again router, we say again switch. I will have, we'll say this is another company, right? 
two different company that means what do you mean by two different company that is two different domain we say this is net corporate level we'll say this is uh, we'll say this is this is in Washington right Washington we'll say this is in uh, New York right New York two different company right so they are connecting uh, so now this company the Washington company right they want to you know they want to share some data right share uh, so because assuming that the Washington company deal with you know New York company they are doing business with each other so they want to you know share their files so what is so we can use files you know files you know right so files you know using the files you know what we can do right we can uh, Oh, we can the file sila. You know, you can you can get it from ISP or some some other party as well, right? So you have a file sila. You can upload files, and this New York team or New York company can download that particular files, right? So then here you have a you you should have a username, then password. And the port number, right? So these are the three basic requirements to connect to the FTP server, right? So so FTP server somewhere in the internet, right? That doesn't matter. So even you can purchase the FTP servers like FileZilla applications, right? So what you can do, you can get access it. You can upload your particular files and all, right? So, so you will give the username password, right, to other party to access that particular file, so they can download it and use it. So this is the usage of the FTP, right, file file transfer protocol. Very effective and very important, and most of the companies they use this FTP servers, right. So even with so this FTP mostly deal with the uh, LAN WAN environment not not the LAN environment mostly LAN WAN environment right okay I think you got it right right okay so this is these are the port numbers right you have to know this port number this is FTP data 20 FTP control normally we are saying they have 21 right FTP protocol right okay what is this What is this? Who knows this? See, we just learning some protocol. We just see TCP port, right? Common TCP port include the following, right? See, we are just learning some protocols, right? Okay, tell me about if uh, this SSH. What do you mean by the SSH? Any idea? Guys, just type. Okay, Kavish to say no, sir. Chantika, any idea about F, uh, SSH? So, these are the very important protocol you must know, right? The What it abbreviated, abbreviated. What it be abbreviated. Abbreviated for SSH means what? Chantika, do you know this or not? Doesn't matter, you just give an answer. Chantika, I think you can hear me, right? Ah, okay. Doesn't matter, yeah. So this is, right? Sequa cell. Sequa shell. What do you mean by Sequa shell? Right? So, uh, this is kind of a remote access facility, right? Remote access facility, right? So, where you can access to any devices from your PC, right? 
we say it's a switch it's a router it's a firewall right anything right firewall whatever the networking devices you can connect it through sss sql shell so what is the different what is the importance of this see whatever the data it goes through right sometime you are accessing right we say you have some branches this is head office this is uh, this is in uh, we say america usa right one branch is sri lanka so the usa technician the to usa networking team they want to access some you know devices in sri lanka to some you know troubleshooting steps right to you know to to have some troubleshoot so so how they connect because they in in between they have wan connection wide area connections that is internet internet is it's untrusted network so what is the best way to access so no we don't have way you know we are we have only way of accessing this uh, through van right even you connect through the vpn even you connect through whatever the way so this is geographically separated places right so anyway you have to use the some isp backbone right i'm talking right so i mean you can you you have to cross the isb backbone so then we, when you are crossing the isb backbone definitely you will get a you will get a some risk no you you have some risk no so so in order to you know eliminate or you know prevent that kind of a data hacking you know evs dropper some man in the middle that kind of a you know hacking uh, issues so for you know to prevent that kind of a malicious activities what would what you can do you can use this secure remote access facility called secure shell right so where each and every bits and bytes they are encrypting and sending that's the importance of the secure socket uh, secure shell right so you are encrypting encrypted data only you know whatever the data it encrypted and goes right through the uh, isp backbone right and to connect to your devices right right so what is the opposite of this anyone okay can you tell me what are the other remote access facilities to your uh, remote accessing tools uh, access for your networking devices so as a as a student as a networking student you should know these things right so this is these sessions are these sessions are you know for you right you 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 should know these points very important things right any idea i am asking other than the secure shell what is the other there there, there is a uh, you know basic remote accessing tool a remote accessing protocol right kaviska chantika any idea what i am talking now i am asking just uh, if you know any other you know remote access you know protocol where we can you know connect to the devices and access it and do con uh, do whatever configuration troubleshooting you know something like that speak to me i am speaking to you I hope you are in this session. Just type. Kavishka, Chantika. Ah, okay, Kavishka said no, sir. He doesn't have idea. How about Chantika? ppp point to point protocol no the ppp is we use for ppp is for you know 
communications to make the communication right so not fee and not for the accessing right not for the remote accessing devices right okay so other one is right this is the opposite of other one is telnet right right telnet telnet what is the different with different of uh, different than uh, sql shell because telnet is not encrypt we are right no encryption no no encryption feature right no encryption feature in other words right the telnet right telnet all data goes as clear text we are saying that clear text right it's it's clear text that means anyone can see the data we say if you type a password one two three only one two three uh, abc something like that right so if you type like that one two three abc this will this extract value goes through the van through van connection or to the backbone area to other end. that means we are not encrypting and sending the data to the device right so this is the clear test data is transferring from uh, you know you are you are device to that particular network in device so telnet is not secure right it's not secure or unsecure right got it i think now you you know the difference so telnet is not secure other one is what secure shell is secure this is encrypted see telnet port number is 23 please not and please remember these port numbers very important these are the predefined port you can't use port 23 it has to be used for telnet only you can't change this is predefined one right so secure socket secure uh, shell it's a 22 port you can't change you can't assign to this uh, port number to some other protocol no it's it's basically bind with this protocol yeah so that is the protocol port numbers very important you should know you should aware got it because when you do some troubleshooting when you do some configuration you should know these protocols right right then wow okay i think you know these things definite okay what do you mean by the smtp any idea about smtp i am talking to you speak up simple mail transfer protocol yes good yeah that is uh, so this is this protocol is used for what okay simple mail transfer protocol answer you both have answers answers are correct tell me this question uh, tell me answer for this smtp used for what reason i am asking reason or usage of smtp you you have given the brevi abbreviation of uh, smtp that uh, that is okay now i am asking you the usage of smtp this should these things you know send mail securely uh huh how about uh, chayantika can you give answer for this chayantika no sir ah doesn't matter yeah this is this smtp right uh, not actually sending email but it belongs to the mail but it's not it's not to the sending part it's 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 to the receiving part or the outgoing server right so we have two things now we have incoming server we have outgoing server
right yeah i i just show you one of the example practical example very you know uh, uh this is used for where we'll say here right See, my outgoing server, SMTP, requires authentication, right? So, this is outgoing server, right? So, SMTP use, uh, send in email, uh, yeah, that is correct. Send in mails, uh, send in mails, outgoing, no? yeah, Kaviska, uh, Kaviska's answer is correct, right, okay. See, uh, this is incoming server, right? uh yeah see uh right see outgoing server smtp port number 465 what is here port number right uh right uh, okay uh right so port number four here the number port number right right here you can see incoming server pop3 pop uh, this is uh, incoming server right and outgoing service SMTP uh, 465. Right. Uh, see here, but see, this is the default one. So those are very secured one, right? Secured one. So they, are, we, they have encryptions. That's why the port, port number is changed. The 465 is a secured one, right? Got it? Yeah. Right. So you just remember simple mail transfer protocol. Right. Uh, okay, Chantika say it's uh, it doesn't understand. Yeah, Chantika, you just want to understand. So SMTP is a uh, SMTP work as outgoing mail server, right? Outgoing web server, right? Outgoing web server. That is normally it default one is two five twenty five. So, but you know, for this, uh, there are some uh, protocols you can define. You know, so some uh, some SMTP protocols uh, when you may because of the security reason they are encrypting. They use some SSL, TSL security reasons, right? So we will learn those T R T T L S T L S mean transport layer security T L S, right? So this is uh, T L S. Transport layer security or SSL, secure socket layer. SSL can, uh, SSL means secure socket layer, right? Secure socket layer, layer, right? Secure socket layer, wait, I just clear this up. Just write, rewrite it, layer. And here TLS pin, transport layer security, right? Actually, uh, uh, nowadays the pro pro uh, the dominant thin one is the dominant one is this transport layer security, right? So this is a high secure so it performance and you know the security when you talk when when you talk about the you know security layer, it, this is the best transport layer security. Now we have 1.3 version TLS, right? TLS 1.3, very secured, very secured. Uh, high performance, right? When you transfer, right? This is called TLS. So, and SSL as a X, XSL is a you know pre predecessor for predecessor predecessor for TLS. Predecessor means it's it, SSL is the you know uh, mother 
mother of the TLS. So uh, TLS is developed by based on the SSL. Okay, that is called predecessor. May, these words you should know. Predecessor, right? So TLS SSL is a pre SSL is a SQL socket layer is a predecessor of the TLS. So TLS is a transport layer uh, transport layer security. Uh, this protocol is uh, now very much useful for this protocol because nowadays you know the viruses are every viruses hacking are everywhere no? and you know the hacking uh, hacking is everywhere. In the, in the network, right? So, if, to the email, data, to any sort of data information, the hackers are affecting now. So, nowadays, this uh, the security is concerned. Yeah, I just want to tell you, right? I, I just want to tell you guys, right? Since you are a student, so I just want to tell you this, because, you know, so from next 2019, right? So, so after another two days, you will you will be facing 2019 year, right? 2019 year, right? So if you are if you can learn kind of a security things, the security related courses. I mean, I am talking about the networking. For example, uh, uh, you know, we have a certified e ethical hacker, right? Or some network CISSP. Right, so that kind of a uh, you know syllabus courses. If you follow, so you will get a better demand in in the uh, next uh, you know IT industry, the networking industry, right? So you will you can find a job easily, right? So good good better. So I mean, you if you can learn if you can learn cyber security, right? So I, actually, I am talking about the next year demanding networking jobs. So uh, this definitely the security is the highest demanding job from next uh, next next couple of years. Definitely, it might it it guaranteed because I have read some you know articles who has written who are who, uh, who uh, written by some you know uh, professionals in the world you know professionals around the world networking professionals they are they are they you know they they have given some predictions of couple of next years so what they said that they said that okay for the security levels so if you learn some security concept if you learn some security courses if you if you have if you acquire some security knowledge so you will get a you 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 are very demanding, you know. You can de demand your knowledge and skills. So I just, I just want to tell you, right? If, if in 2019, if you can just follow some security level, the networking security courses, right? So even CCNA security is there, right? This is we are, we just follow the uh, routing and switching. So CCNA security, CCNP security. So right I'm, i just want to tell that so you you just think about that so cyber security right so that is the most you know demanding area you if you can learn something right if you can learn those areas you, 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 that definitely benefit to you right okay that is for the motivation and you know <laughs> For motivation for the 2019, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, then DNS, right? You know, see, I, I, when that uh, the DNS word comes to me, I I remember that uh, you know once I you know uh, few years back when I you know when I reached to some interview, right? The interview panel, the networking team, right? The networking, uh, the the interview panel questions about you know ha, ha, had a question from me. Uh, can you tell me, for example, can you tell me what is the port of DNS, right? So, see these port numbers very essential to you. You have to remember. Sometime in the interview board, right? They will ask the these protocol numbers, right? The, what is the protocol? They they the, what they why they ask? They ask okay. Do you know the extract port numbers on that particular protocol? Right? Right? So that's the idea, right? Uh, right? 
okay kavish uh, kavish ka asking some question about me uh, uh, yeah uh, question from me uh, kavish want to tell as he uh, uh, he is a student in uh, second year right and uh, right uh, uh right so uh, he, uh, he said that he can select the uh, cyber security area right in a uh, everything uh, in a as a as a second year uh, subject right okay so uh, uh right so see uh it's like this uh so foundation would be the network right as my knowledge uh, as my idea as my personal view would be the foundation is the network you know they for better you first finish the networking concept next uh, networking subject area in your second year what a year whatever the years third year then you meanwhile you know meanwhile you you can learn uh, cyber security so cyber security is another topic another area but it's related to security right that is okay but it's a very demanding area there is no uh, you know doubt on that right right but the basic is my suggestion would be to you yeah, just you follow the networking stuff very first time by the time or oh, meanwhile you do the networking see nowadays you don't want to you know go participate for particular course and you know and pay you know full amount or half amount and do the course right now most everything is in the in the internet right internet you you we have torrent site we have some uh, we can download whatever the video training sessions ebooks and everything is there and free of charge right so don't bother about it right so if you are very courteous to you or if you are very you know uh, you know if you are address aggressive learner right about networking that means you have very fast motivation from your yourself definitely you can find a lot of materials from the internet you don't want to you know uh, you, you don't want to do courses for this right so yeah I, I think you are you just want to have an internet connection right nowadays we we have some free free wi-fi areas as well right <laughs> so if you can access it right i just tell that right yeah now my point is right i my point is you don't want to you know do the course right right you meanwhile my suggestion would be to uh Kaviska, while you are doing the networking right you just follow the you just download some uh, good materials such as video training ebook some training materials right some uh, and learn it okay okay right uh, okay i think uh, yeah so yeah i just uh, i think lastly i have discussed about the port numbers these port numbers are very important right very important very important points these port numbers you should you should aware these port numbers they will last right i mean when you go to the interview they will last sometime what is the port number of this okay tell me about the dns what, what do you know about the dns and why we use for dns I think Vihango also, uh, Vihango has joined, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any idea about the DNS? DNS is a big, big area, right? You know, there are ebook, there are many ebooks only written to DNS, right? Very vast area. Very vast area. Can I know the DNS and why we use for DNS? Because you should know this is very basic, right? 
this is not the networking actually dns just tell me actually if you are speaking that's why it's it's kind of a motivation as well to me right <laughs> Okay, converter to Vihanga said uh, an answer. Uh, converter to IP address to hostname and host ad hostname to IP. Yeah, converting IP to host. Yeah, domain name. So yeah, yes, actually it's it's a it's a conversion. Yeah, it's a uh, because. You know that uh, computer doesn't understand the, the symbolic names. Actually, this is converting symbolic names to right converting converting symbolic symbolic names to IP addresses. Right, or we can say then see if you are typing www google.lk, right? What is this? Right, this is a symbolic name, can this understand, understand by the computer? Right? Can this understand by the computer? No, computer can't understand. So what the computer does? Computer uses DNS service for what? To get the IP for this? From where? So we have DNS entries. Right? DNS entries. Right? So DNS is a web ser service. Right? So, so we have uh, some uh, public DNS right some public DNS is there right so what they do right they convert in this google dot to real ID which is a 135 5 10 5 so it it goes it actually goes from goes to this IP and it we visual you know visual the visual the Google site right right so DNS domain name system or domain name server right so what is this that is converting symbolic name to IP addresses right right Okay, Apita, uh, so, uh, we, uh, what we can do, right, uh, you know, in a computer, there is a special location where, where we can put some DNS entries. That means when, when the machine is starting, on, starting we can say if, if you are accessing this, field, if you are accessing this symbolic name, symbolic names, you should know these things, symbolic names. Where to find my IP? Where to find my IP? My IP. Very first time, it goes to where? Can you? T who, who can tell that answer? Yeah, we are. That is correct. Forward lookup zone, reverse lookup zone. Yeah, that is for DNS services. Yeah, we use for uh, server environment. Yeah. Okay. I am asking this question, right? My question would be, we say I have a computer, I am accessing the internet, www.google.lk, right? So very first time, this DNS entries, the PC, PC look for this DNS entries. I want to, can you tell me, very first time PC goes to where and check the entries. There's a location in PC. Can you tell me what is the location? And even we can some put, we can put some DNS entries in that particular location. Where where's that location? 
do you, you should know this is the practical practical question very practical question any idea vihanga kaviska chayantika so these these three people are very motivated students so i am very happy about these people these two or three uh, guys right they are mostly joining for the uh, team eva session yeah and uh, for my side i am you know giving my best effort best delivery to them right was i am very you know i am very like to teach my knowledge i share my knowledge with students right it's 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 only the pleasure we have right ultimately right whatever you do yeah tell me i i have a, i have asked a question please uh, give me give me the answer asking where we can change uh, we, we can put the dns entries in uh, our uh, computer file we have the you should know yeah host great kaviska kavis uh, got uh, gave the answer yes host yeah that that would be the location right Yeah, I'll just browse the host. See, you can go to, you can double click on the my uh, this PC. Go to C, go to Windows. Here, here you go to System Thirty Two. Under that, you uh, switch System Thirty Two. Uh, then you can go drivers right then you can go etc i right, just enter yeah this is the particular file double click in open with notepad c what they say the file contain mapping the ip address to host name each entry should be kept in individual lines the ip address should be be placed in the first column followed by the corresponding host name the ip address and the host name should be separated by at least one space right c so these are the entries right so you can have entries like this right this is this is this is the local dns entries so very first time pc goes to this file and check whether it's, is there any entry about that particular symbolic name if it is not there that's why it goes to the public dns or whatever the uh you dns servers in your domain normally every normally in the corporate level they do have uh, you know dns right they do have dns they have they have their own dns servers right normally in the internet even even, even in the our slt routers uh you see you know that right i i just want to tell you if if some adsl routers are there no slt uh and the dialog i just want to tell this right right so what will happen yeah 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 kavisha can we can have right right uh i just want to tell this uh, dns uh, there are some uh, you know dialog they have their own dns slt also they do, they have own dns you know that there are some particular website you we say you cannot access website sometime using the from the dialog itself they have blocked some sites right so you can't access we say uh, when you access some site some hacking site or whatever site so there are some particular site you know we have backlist a site no you know you you know the global isp we have uh, global isps what they do global isp means what global isp means they are providing the internet connection 
not only for one country, you know, to many countries. Sometimes, you know, global ISP are the people who have given the main backbone connection to Sri Lanka. For example, so the dialogue go and take uh, dialogue, see, dialogue doesn't have a, you know, a backbone connection to all around the world, right? So, they have, there are uh, global ISP companies, they are they 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 have fiber in in their you know whole world within their right our, our world so what they do they are giving some portion the connectivity some you know bandwidth portion to uh, local isp so what the dialogue does or what the slt does they deal with the global isp vendor and you know purchase some that particular bandwidth oh there are there is a very specific place where that main link coming to Sri Lanka. I am talking about the country level, right? Coming to Sri Lanka. I mean, the main main connection, we say main, from, if someone asks, okay, from where that dialogue takes this internet facility? Yeah, dialogue, there is a specific place where the dialogue, the, 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 the main link come from that place right right okay so uh, global isp give that particular bandwidth to the local isp called dialogue dialogue will rent it or dialogue will pay for that then di what the dialogue does dialogue take that bandwidth and you know break it break it break it break it break it and you know uh, given to household given to household and Domestic people and the company level people. That's how they do business, right? Okay, I just want to tell this, right? Uh, so things, if the things like that, uh, uh, so the global ISP has some backlisted website. Backlisted website. They will share those backlisted website with the local ISP as well, right? What they say, okay, as a rule, as a standard, these are the known website. It has been backlisted. So, please, you also backlist from your end. So, so then under DNS, right, DNS, those names, those symbolic names are not, right, not converting through the IP address by DNS service. That is the, that is the thing we cannot see the page so but if you put some public dms for example 8.8.8.8.8.4.4 something there are some public dns number uh, uh public dns servers there's a specific static ip you know so that that kind of a public dns servers you can go to the you can log in to, i mean you can log into the your dialogue uh connections right and you can change your, uh, you just take a copy, right? If something happened, right? You just take a copy or, uh, you know, a screenshot and, you know, the settings and all, right? You change, you change it to your uh, domain IP to what? Uh, domain, uh, I mean, DNS, uh, DNS to that public DNS. I guarantee that you can access any website. You can access any website. Because it's a public DNS. Normally, public DNS won't, you know, uh, won't uh, put some restriction to, you know, accessing things. So, whatever the symbolic name, it will convert it to the IP address. It will direct it to or redirect it to the particular web server, right? That's how it works, right? Got it? So, these are the, I know, this is some good news to you. <laughs> no, no, not good news, right? I just want to tell you, tell you this, right? So, uh, you know, people in the networking, if you learn networking, you should know these things. Not to hack, right? Not to discriminate, right? Uh, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we have talked about the DNS. Uh, okay, what do you mean by the UDP? What do you mean by the UDP? Can you tell me UDP? 
who knows UDP? See, actually, see now what I am, what I am discussing. I am discussing the kind of a protocol, just a name. Did we configure anything? No. See, so, so this knowledge you should have, right? This knowledge you should acquire, right? Yeah. The user datagram protocol. Great. Why we use? What is the what is the difference between uh, UDP and TCP? Any idea? Oh, what are the protocols used in UDP? Tell me. What kind of a uh, TCP is more secure? More secure? Uh huh. Why you are saying TCP is more secure? What is the reason? That should be a reason how it's secure. To transfer fast, we use UDP. TCP is reliable. Yeah, reliable, that is correct. Why you are saying reliable? What is the reason behind that? Kaisa saying that TCP is reliable. Yes, correct. That is the reason. So TCP check the guaranteed delivery. We are saying that, right? TCP check the guaranteed delivery and UDP it doesn't, right? UDP when when it when it send across uh, telecommunication media to other party, right? Right? Whatever the data it goes, it goes there. Whatever the data it not goes, not goes there, right? It doesn't go. It doesn't go, right? It doesn't. So UDP works as a best effort. Remember, UDP user data and protocol works as a best effort. That means UDP tries his best to transfer the data. Sometimes data might be lost, but they can't recover. But in uh, TCP, zero. Uh, data, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, no data detection, no, sorry, no data visit uh, in the TCP connection because of their, they are establishing the connection and uh, they are, you know, resending the data which has not been, you know, received to the uh, destination end. So that is because of that, uh, TCP say it's reliable, guaranteed delivery. And another thing, uh, T, uh, UDP. What are the uh, what are the applications we can uh, under UDP? What kind of a you know system we can we are using you know to transfer UDP? Any idea? Yes, videos, yeah, videos, uh, I mean, normally UDP, user datagram protocol, basically we use for video uh, streaming uh, and even plus what, uh, video communication, for example, basically communication, even voice of IP communication, uh, phone communication, uh, that kind of thing, uh, so we use UDP, right? So UDP basically use real-time environment, right? Real-time environment right okay uh, that is the uh, uh, UDP even you see in a networking environment we uh, we we do have a protocol called TFTP right we have I have some you know I have done some videos as well in my YouTube channel right uh, please you visit my YouTube channel right please subscribe it right and please share that my, share my YouTube channel with your friends and all, right? So that is uh, that is good for me, 
right okay uh, tcp uh, i just want to tell uh, uh, yeah there's a protocol called tftp tftp protocol is what tftp protocol means uh, tribal file transfer protocol right so file transfer protocol right this is the simplest version of simplest version of ftp simplest version of ftp right this is also you know used for file transfer but it's not not for big files small files right ftp and this uh, uh, this ftp right uh, this tftp used for mostly in a lan environment LAN environment, LAN environment, right? Not the not the WAN environment, right? WAN environment, we we are not we are using FTP, right? Basically, this this TFTP used for you know taking backup for taking backup of uh, devices, right? Such as uh, what uh, you know backup of Cisco devices, backup of uh, backup. Backup routers, switches, config file. Routers, switches, config file. Right? Routers, switches, config file. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, backup routers, switches, config file. Uh, and, you know, uh, copying, copying iOS. IOS Internet Tech Operating System to what? Copy in IOS Internet Tech Operating System to uh, device uh, from uh, IOS from TFTP server to device or vice versa. Vice versa means other uh, other way around as well. Right. Uh, yeah, this is for uh, yeah. I just want to tell. I, I just introduce the TFTP and give some example why we use and what is and what is it. And the TFTP is port number as I remember. It's port number sixty-nine, right? TFTP port number is sixty-nine. So TFTP use this UDP. I just want to tell that UDP. That means if the T we say this is this is your uh, we say this is router. Okay, we say router has 32 MB some uh, iOS iOS image file. We say IP base IP base. So uh, assuming uh, uh, enterprise advanced ENT ADV advanced uh, inter enterprise advanced then whatever. Uh, IP based security uh, something like that any 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 base uh, any uh, iOS iOS image you want to copy to TFTP this is TFTP server TFTP server uh, we say uh, right we uh, yeah TFTP server uh, some sort of TFTP server, right? Okay. So when you copy this 32 MB file using TFTP uh, uh, through the TFTP server, right? Using TFTP protocol, assuming when you transfer 31 of megabyte already transferred, but it 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 doesn't you know reach to 32 because of some data block corruption or something or some uh, something because of internet connection or whatever the reason the reason might be anything the, the due to some reason it has been disconnect uh, it, i mean it has been uh, Data, data is uh, we say not not due to some reason. We say that that particular data couldn't read, right? Right. So what do you think? 
because they use UDP, right? It didn't copy even one single bit. It just about had cancel it. So that is the UDP. That's that's how UDP work, right? That's how UDP work, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the basic, this is the very, I think, any networking course, any beginner, any newcomer, right, but learn this very first time, HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol, right, now we use HTTPS. Hypertext transfer protocol with secure socket layer, right? Secure socket layer. That is port number, HTTP is working port number 80, HTTP S port number 443. Very important, these port numbers, please be remember, these port numbers are very important. These port numbers, very important, even when you go for the interview, they will last, definitely, because there are many interviewers, they ask from me these port numbers, right, randomly. They will ask. Definitely from, they, why they ask? They are asking, does you have, does, uh, you know, do, do you have some basic knowledge about networking protocols and their port numbers? That is a very basic. They don't ask, okay, how it works. They ask, what, what is your port, what is the port number? Can you just remember it? Right, that's it. Nothing else. Right. Uh, okay, I think I don't want to tell this HTTP thing. Right, this is uh, this is basically client server architecture. Right, so client server architecture. Right, web server. Uh, right, this is also this is we say client. Here we have server. Right. What we do. HTTP request. Now we have HTTPS request, right? Then we have response, right? Response. Right. So client is always requesting information from the server. Server is always providing services to the client. Server is basically, right? So server is Parallel, parallel, parallelly, server has many processing power, more memory capacity, more, more storage capacity, right? More processing power, right? So it can serve, you know, thousand or sometimes millions of uh, yeah, time share, uh, uh, you know, whatever the, uh, at the same time, simultaneously, they can support to, uh, you know, many client. So that is the server. It's a powerful thing. It's a powerful device. Right. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. What is this POP? Can you tell me? What is this? Guys, tell me. I think we will uh, close this session on uh, 1030, right? I'll, I'll, I'll end up this. Uh, team viewer session on 10:30, right? So then uh, I think in the uh, within 10 minutes, within uh, next couple of uh, few uh, next few minutes, I can finish this. Uh, just you know, just elaborate on these uh, protocols, right? Tell me about POP3. Who knows why we use? What is the definition? What what is the abbreviation? Abbreviation. What would be the abbreviation? Email send and receive. Can you tell me exactly? Is it does it for send or does it for receive? <laughs> Vihanga, does it for sending or does it for receive? Anyone? Yes, 
for receive correct yeah receiving means incoming incoming mail server pop 3 right in incoming mail server is pop 3 right right what do you mean by pop what is the abbreviation didn't tell anyone so far what what would be the abbreviation pop 3 pop yes post office protocol great right so this would be the number 110 right right okay what is what is the this uh, what okay so what would be the next protocol What would be the next protocol? NNTP? Any idea? Okay. This is network news transfer protocol. Right? Network news transfer protocol. So, what do you mean by the network news transfer? Whatever? Yeah, I think you have heard about Usenet, right? Usenet. Usenet is a service. It's kind of a, uh, you know, uh, online, online news group, right? News group. Oh, you can say it's a, it's, it's a kind of a discussion forums, right? Discussion forums. Where... They are to, uh, they are talking about some specific matter uh, subject area. So so Usenet use Usenet use uh, this network news transfer protocol to transfer their news group over the internet over the internet, right? So, you know, uh, I think uh, this is kind of a, you know, like, you know, BBS. What do you mean by BBS? BBS means what? Bullet. Bulletin. Board. Bulletin board system, right? What do you mean by bulletin board? Bulletin board mean there's, there's a, you know, you know, some specific people join as a group specific people join as a group and talk about one particular subject talking right task is talking about one particular uh, to, uh, talking about one particular task talking about one particular task right one particular subject right Right, this is this is called uh, bulletin board system. So same as that bullet, uh, same as that we have news group. News groups means people have some online discussion. It's kind of a forum where it talks about some particular object or subject. So Usenet are uh, use this you know a news group method, right? When, when they want to transfer this uh, news groups right from one location to another actually this is this is based on tech this is purely based on text base right text base 
test based discussion right news group is a test based discussion nothing but right news group is a test based discussion where they are talking about the some particular subject area or where they are talking about the some particular topic right or, or where they are talking about the some particular uh, issue something like that you can elaborate on that right okay that is called nntp so so this what do you mean by this nntp is the network news transfer protocol they use this protocol is used by the news net use net for what to communicating or to transfer this test based discussion from over the internet got it so this would be the nntp protocol right network news transfer protocol <coughs> this is a just a basic idea right nothing much, nothing much. okay next next one what? what what would be the next one right that is uh, the you are aware oh, i think vihanga you should know this what is this anyone should know ntp what would be the ntp Vyanga say he doesn't have any idea, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, Chayantika. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, network time protocol. Yes. So what's uh, so what's the purpose of it? I think Chayantika should know that also because he has given the answer and he should. Uh, he, I think he must aware of this. So Chayantika, just give me a brief about this. I mean, just give the answer for this. Why we use for this NTP? See, we are learning networking, right, guys? Chantika, do you have any idea? Okay, uh, NTP is kind of a, you know, uh, say uh, we use for this. Uh, synchronizing synchronizing the time right synchronizing the our clock our standard clock to our uh, for our devices right i mean for example when you log into the router for example when you log into the switch or when you log into the firewall or whatever the networking devices it has to be a time right it has to be a current time so there's a place where that current time would be mentioned or client time would be you know uh, dis uh, appear right so ntp is ntp is networking time protocol means so so this what uh, you you can on you can you can synchronize synchronize the global time with this whatever the our networking devices because it has been connected to the internet right right because of the connection so if you put some global internet connection so global ntp server there are some global ntp servers where uh they have they uh, they have uh, you know given the static ip to that particular ntp servers so we can use that static ip to uh, our devices we can configure the ntp server global ntp server into our devices then what will happen the our device will communicate with that global ntp server and it synchronize the current time got it so this is very important point right so uh, right so this is this is this is this is how we ntp uh, this is why we use ntp servers so whenever we log into the devices we can see the time so because that time will would be syncing with the global ntp servers global time so there there should be no you know a difference between the time there is no gap between the time right so same time also it keep the keep the same time so that is kind of a uh, usage of ntp servers so NTP servers, we can configure it and we can even we can have NTP local NTP servers as well. We can keep 
local NTP servers and we can ask our devices to okay if you want to get the time you can just synchronize that synchronize it from our uh, local NTP server not for the uh, global NTP server sometime if you can say like this if the NTP server local NTP server is down you can redirect to the it, it could be redirect to the global NTP server so, so this kind of environment is there under NTP protocol network time protocol got it right yeah perfect Yeah, yeah. So you can you you have to have NTP server for that. So and LAN. So you just uh, you just uh, you know do some research. I think you can find okay uh, very good guide. Okay, how we can do the NTP in locally, right? So it's very it's not a big thing, right? You just right. Uh, you just uh, you know uh, research. I mean not the research search. Uh, you will get an answer for that, right? right okay next one tls and ssl right okay what are those what are those tls and ssl this is the last point i want to discuss for today's session right so this would be the last protocol i mean just this is what we did actually uh, today what we have done we have just go through some protocols and discussion around i have made a discussion around those protocols the usage and all like so see now we are so many more to go many more to go see many more to go right see so this is very good see you are learning a lot of things right so you should be lucky right okay tell me last point tls ssl please uh, this would be the last uh, point i am discussing for today's session what do you mean by the tls and ssl No idea. Yeah, transport layer security, great, right? Yeah, this TLS, right? TLS is uh, uh, right. If you talk about the TLS, right? The they are in this TLS. You can divide it into two sub protocols, right? As I can remember, there's there's called TLS, uh, TLS. I think record uh, uh, TLS. Uh, this is transport layer security. You can have this. Uh, there's a TLS record. Yeah, TLS record protocol. Uh, uh, TLS record protocol, right? And uh, if I not making a mistake, there's another one. TLS. Uh, yeah, handshake protocol. Correct. Handshake protocol, right? So these are the two, uh, two subcategories of protocol under TLS. Transport layer security this is the uh, uh, it's a, it's a dominant protocol for the security purpose, right? High secure, high secure, right? Because of uh, because of uh, tra uh, trans uh, encryption. While transferring data, right? While transferring data, actually the predecessor predecessor of the TLS is would be uh, uh, is the SSL, secure socket layer, right? Uh, right, secure socket layer. We have SSL 3.0. Now, S, now uh, this is the predecessor of the secure socket layer, uh, right? Sorry. SSL is the predecessor for uh, transport layer security. Transport uh, layer security, we have 1.0. Now we have 1.3 version. I think this would be the latest 1.3. So this has very uh, high performance and high secured, right? The TLS, uh, what they did was they overcome whatever the algorithms uh, you know put uh, hashing and 
uh, encryption algorithm uh, issues and they are come up with a better solution for example we have md5 message digest 5 we have sha1 sha2 right then we have uh, des we have des3 des right uh, this kind of a uh, you know encryption and hashing protocols right so actually these are hashing protocols right uh, uh, they uh, they eliminate whatever the uh, issues or whatever the drawbacks of these protocols are they are coming with a new uh, secure solution because you know nowadays uh, man in the middle hackers ever droppers are very common to uh, in common in you know, uh, common or in, in in the internet right okay so this is port number is 443 right i remember these port numbers okay i think uh, okay i think uh, for the today's session uh, so that's it uh, i'll uh, yeah uh, so i just want to you know uh, uh, i just now i think now we uh, yeah, now we have uh, actually my recording would be around uh, yeah more than more than uh, I think uh, yeah before uh, I started around eight I think right now it's uh, no eight uh, thirty or something right anyway uh, uh, thanks for uh, you know staying with me for this session right okay just give me a feedback for this how about today's session Chayantika uh, stayed from the beginning and uh, Kavisk and Viranga you know join uh, in the middle right while I am teaching while I am uh, you know you know doing the session uh, Chayantika how about the session Chayantika have you learned things I new things what would this just give me the uh, small feedback to this session today yeah she said he said that it was very useful to me I learned a lot of thank you sir for your time yeah yeah most welcome Chantika oh, how about the Kavishka and Viranga even they are logging from the in the middle I think you also have learned uh, something out of it right I might I sure that yeah Kaviske anything to say we hunger yeah we hunger say same sir yeah thank you for your time yeah definitely okay uh, Okay, Kaviska. Okay, uh, I think uh, we will uh, next session would be uh, January first, right? We'll have a small, uh, not not the big session, right? January first. We'll initially we'll you know we'll have only uh, we'll have a one hour session or uh, less than one hour session because of the January first we will start it, right? I think uh, Chayantika, are you able to connect on January first evening? I mean around 8 o'clock something like that because I just wanted to have a session on January yes uh, yeah yeah Chantika said he can join on January 1st small session I don't want to take because of the January 1st only one hour session very small session but very useful session I might plan you know actually next uh, next couple of session I might use uh, I am you I am planning to use uh, you know this one you know uh, Wireshark you know Wireshark right using the Wireshark I just want to I'll just I think I, I'll open the wires I just want to tell, see uh, okay so this is Wireshark right right Wireshark so this is a packet analyzing right so we say if you want to our uh, penalization uh, right uh, okay this is our protocol right how it goes this app is a broadcast right Right, so this is app. Uh, actually, this is the app. Uh, app uh, packet, right? So same. Actually, not the app. App, uh, app is uh, you know Mac uh, layer two, no. So this is uh, uh, this is frame. See, so these are the interface, the M classification type, and everything. So pa packet level, right? So address resolution protocol, hardware type, IPv portion, 
are their size so protocols so we 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 will learn uh, using this uh, you know uh, wire shark right so you can uh, understand lot of concept behind that how those protocols are working right actually this is the this is the real world capture of the uh, 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 packet and the frames right so right okay wireshark is a very useful handy tool where you can uh, you can learn i know packet analyzer right so uh, we will uh, we will discuss these things right next couple of uh, sessions right so while we uh, study right how it goes and you know uh, yeah, capture we can filter right we say udp only right so very useful technique right right uh, okay right okay i'll just want to uh, Okay, I'll just want to close this session now. Okay, uh, right. Uh, thanks again, guys. So, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, you are staying with me, right? We were almost two hours, right? So, okay. I wish you a happy, birth happy new year, right? Wish you a happy new year. Uh, will uh, okay. I just, I just want to tell you something. You just, uh, I. I I'll record, I'll, you know, put this, uh, uh, you know, video, uh, actually I am recording these sessions, so I'll put into my YouTube channel, you can view it again, right, and uh, please sub go to my YouTube channel, please subscribe it, if you are not subscribing, please share my YouTube channel with your friends, colleagues and all, right, and uh, yeah, I just, uh, and yeah, if you have some real students where they uh, like you right uh, uh, who 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 are like who are willing to learn i networking please add uh, share my group uh, share my group and uh, whatsapp group and add them all add them all actually from next year i i might you know i might do some uh, filtering to my whatsapp group because uh, you know uh, I, uh, I mean filtering means you know we just want to know uh, we just want to uh, you know keep our you know students I uh, give some give chance to student to come into the whatsapp group right if someone currently if someone join in whatsapp group and they don't uh, if they don't uh, join in if if they don't want if they don't comment anything like that so i just give some you know uh, i just uh, uh, i just uh, give some uh, you know chance to some other guys instead of those right okay see you have a good night thanks all